What's up everybody? Welcome in another episode of Survival Zone 101. And today we are going to talk more about stress. And to be exact, about stress and distress. Stress is inner reaction of our organism for stressors. So those stressors are factors like, for example, something that pushes us uh, into some action or uh, frees us uh, and frees our life or health. Uh, stress may help us a lot by giving our uh, to, uh, to us giving to us uh, mobilization and motivation, uh, and it can also just kill us because uh, it has lots of negative impact as well. So that positive one is stress and negative one is distress. But we will talk about it a little bit more. And it's not the point to fight with stress. Uh, but to understand it and use it for our um, good. So uh, lots of people in soci society uh, understand stress in a wrong way. So I will try to explain you more about stress uh, so you will simply get it, right? So in optimal um, environment and events around us, stress is is giving our, to us mobilization and uh, motivation to taking actions. Now, if that stress will be growing, it will, won't stop at a certain moment, uh, or it will be simply um, pushing us all the time, then it will become, uh, it will, it will become negative, it will give us a negative impact, we will be losing our motivation, we won't be so, so mobilized uh, to take actions and it will simply cause that one at a certain moment uh, will simply give up, which sometimes may lead even to death. Very easy to understand uh, example. For example, uh, we, we are having a student and he has all marks fine, he is passing almost, because he has one mark that is bad and he has to work for that mark to pass to the next uh, class, right, and to the next grade. So having just one mark that stops him from uh, graduating uh, to the next grade uh, motivates him and if that student uh, will have six grades which will stop him from uh, graduation of his school or to the next grade or to university uh, then this student will simply lack motivation because in the first um, possibility with only one bad, uh, bad mark uh, that student is motivated to work about it because it's just one, ma one mark so you know he has uh, an idea what he should focus on but then if he has six different bad marks, then it causes that he is starting to uh, being overloaded with stress and that motivation is being lost and he is just giving up. So as I said before, positive mobilizing stress is eustress. Um, negative uh, stress that uh, makes us give up, that is uh, very strong, that is uh, pushing us beyond our limits, uh, which uh, we can't go uh, over, come over them, and uh, that makes us finally to give up and simply uh, breaks us, is called distress. So, stress giving us uh, is giving us more motivation, and distress uh, is taking that motivation from us. Uh, so now when it comes to distress, when distress appears, <laughs> it's uh, not that hard to understand. If we are having a stressful situation, that stress is growing and it, it is mobilizing us because it's stress. But at certain point, uh, there will be our limit. It will be the peak. And that peak is the moment when we are having the biggest possible motivation and mobilization to take actions to, for example, protect us, our lives or our lives of close people, for, uh, who are, uh, of people who are close uh, to us, right? So this is that peak. And 
if stress won't stop, if you won't be able to regenerate, to rest, to remove that stress from yourself, from your life, then it will become distress because this is when you are breaking that limit, limit. you are going further than that peak and this causes distress. Now, when it comes to distress, uh, it's important to understand that not every person will break at the same point, at the same, not every person will be having that same peak in the same moment. So it depends from age, from gender, from sex, from our physiology, from our experience, from our knowledge, from our skills, from our equipment, from all kinds of um, matters that uh, may simply decide uh, and all kinds of factors that may simply decide if you will break er earlier in the same point like someone else or maybe uh, later because you will be simply better prepared for example for a uh, such situation that will occur and now it's important also to um, understand that all those factors makes us um, not same we are all different and this is important to understand that this that someone is not uh, not br broken by uh, distress doesn't mean that you won't be broken by uh, in the same point or you will be broken earlier or later it's very it's, it's personal thing so you won't help it only you can help it by uh, education and gaining skills and caring about equipment and all those factors and even more than I said. Also the stress uh, happens when the situation, the stressful situation is so long that finally uh, it's called uh, tiring of material. You, you're, you are so long time under the stress that finally you are breaking. So it doesn't matter how tough you are, uh, there will be such point where you will be breaking and you will start giving up. It happens. It happens from for uh, it happens to soldiers, to best soldiers on the world, to best policemen, to best uh, surgeons, uh, to lots of people. And this is something completely normal. Everyone ha are having some limit that they go over, and it simply happens. Now, important thing is also to know that some people are reacting with uh, distress in situations when that distress is not actually um, real. Uh, what I mean by that, saying that is that um, some situations are not having actually so much stress and are not putting that stress. Uh, for example, some people are getting very stressed over some exam or test which they can retake easily and they have lots of chances but they are simply overstressed and they are going into that distress. Uh, so this shows us that actually we can make us uh, stressed. We can produce stress. So it doesn't have to be um, from some events, from some situation, but it can be simply us. Good example of such uh, comparison between uh, when someone breaks and gets into distress is example of someone who gets into the forest who is simple uh, city guy who is, who, is, who is a guy who lives all life in the city and he went uh, to the forest to find some mushrooms for dinner or something uh, in such kind and he gets lost and he doesn't have any chance to get out from the forest it's going to be dark soon and he is under distress because he is scared, he doesn't know what, what to do. Now, a very um, experienced tourist or survive, uh, survivalist or soldier would uh, not feel that kind of distress because it will, would, would be something, just an, uh, an event uh, that is unpleasant for that person. But they would start uh, making a campfire, they would start making some uh, some kind of roof or any, um, you know, place to sleep and it wouldn't be a distress for them instead for that guy from the city. However, also to lose 
um, approach to some stressful situation uh, or not reading uh, signs of stressful si of, of, of situation that is uh, dangerous for us may lead us uh, into fail as well. Now, what happens? The best example will be boxing match. If our boxer, let's call him John, if John is a boxer and he has a huge, enormous, well-skilled uh, opponent, he will lose that fight uh, right before the first gong. Why is that? He will simply be so in so deep stress that he will give up. Now, if he has an opponent who is similar to him, uh, he will be motivated to win the fight. He will work out a lot, he will train a lot, because, because he, want, he will see that the opponent is maybe a little bit better than him, but has some cons as well, some uh, weak points, and he will be simply working hard to beat him up. Uh, and there comes also third possibility, that he will be fighting with some weaker guy who isn't so skilled, who isn't so experienced, who isn't so big, and he may here uh, make a deep mistake, very big mistake. Uh, that mistake is just getting too loose, and he may go out for pizza, having some parties, get drunk, not work out, not train a lot, and he will lose that fight with that weak guy, uh, because he simply didn't uh, find it mobilizing for him. So this is important to train such coach uh, of, of such boxer, uh, take care of, and pay attention to, mot to motivate um, boxer all the time. Stress, especially out stress, may cause also to um, lead uh, us to be better people. So it gives us some adrenaline, it gives us some experience, it gives us some Mm, some certain uh, goods that are, you know, adventures, and we are finding our limits. We are uh, finding ourselves in some situations, and we see if we can uh, do something and take action that is good for us or for our environment or not. How we are doing in some survival situation, for example. Now, uh, also, uh, some stress, which is that L stress, helps us to push that limit of, uh, of that peak between L stress and D stress. So that means if you are under L stress and you are doing your best and you are really like, going through that situation, then you are pushing that peak more, further, and that means your D stress will appear uh, much later than to someone who never is in L stress, in that positive stress. So this is why some soldiers, for example, uh, who are on missions, are having their peak of between L stress and D stress pushed so far that they are not feeling stressed in situation when, for example, someone comes into the bar with a gun and they just simply take action, they shoot that guy or um, fight with him and they don't feel stressed because they were in such situations lots of times on their missions and they are well-trained commandos and they simply know, or anti-terrorists, and they simply know what to do and they are not feeling that distress but L stress which motivates, motivates them to take actions. It is also important to understand that our body, and we are not able to uh, stay under that uh, stress for too long time, because from some moment that L stress will be making us that high level of stress, and L stress will be start, starting making us tired. So we will be slowly losing our energy, uh, we will slowly losing our motivation, and we will doing more and more mistakes, and we will take wrong actions, which is normal but it's important to understand it. So how you can find out if someone around you is in deep stress, in that distress or you are in distress. Um, for example, you are forgetting some things, you are um, getting mad, getting angry, you are having problems with um, taking right decisions, doing right decisions uh, about some situation that you are in. You are worried, you are doing some mistakes, you are thinking about 
death or doing uh, of doing suicide. You are having also some problems uh, with other people or is that such person is escaping from people or you or that person is escaping from taking some responsibility as well. And last but not least uh, is taking reckless action. uh, actions. It's also a very popular sign of stress. So there are like 10 or 11 uh, signs of stress, of distress, uh, which is important to understand and uh, remember because you will find out which person or if you are actually under distress. And this is important to understand that it's not safe as well to be with such person because that person may put you into trouble. So it's important to, uh, to work with that person to uh, remove that distress and give some comfort to that person uh, so you will be simply safer. Long-term stress is also causing that we are mm, more easily getting some infections we are also more likely to uh, use some drugs or alcohol or, or uh, to smoke uh, c cigarettes or weed. And it's important to know that women are actually uh, much stronger and they do better under distress than guys. So this is very interesting, but props for you ladies, you are doing very well. Congratulations, um, definitely I will feel uh, safer with some girls and comes to stress because they won't be that stressed. So as you can see, stress may motivate you, it may help you, it may save your life, but also it may break you, it may take away your motivation and it will put you into real, real big, really big trouble. Uh, so it's important to understand stress that's why I'm talking about it you know, on my videos so much and work with it and use it for your ad uh, advantage then let that stress steer you, steer your life, steer your actions and your motivation. So that's it for now. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that it was very informing for you and that you will understand stress much more. We will be taking uh, care about survival psychology more in the next episode as next episodes as well as this topic is not that covered and it's impo extremely important because well without it we are die we are dead uh, so don't forget to comment subscribe and rate for more and also check out my facebook fan page the link is in the description uh, have an awesome day and take care bye